Hi, this is Nate with Keysoft, and this is the fourth of our series of overview videos of Autolux. In this short video, we're going to look at floodlights. So I've pulled up a sports field application. Here you can see I've already built out a scheme with um, eight different floodlight masts. Each mast has uh, dozens of aimed floodlights coming off of it and we can see we've calculated with existing grid points uh, four different calculations. We have the horizontal foot candles, vertical foot candles, uh, foot candles with um, a, a meter facing uh, a, where a camera may be, and then a luminous intensity as well. Let's add another mast and a few more uh, aimed floodlights to see how that affects the drawing. So I'm going to insert a new cross arm. And a cross arm is just a, uh, a mast with a graphical cross arm. Uh, it's really just a symbol and have a connecting point for your, your aimed luminaire. You don't have to have this in place. It just helps kind of illustrate that where that pole might be. I'm going to put it here in the end zone, just theoretically. I'm going to rotate that direction I want and now I'm going to complete the command. Next, I'm going to add an aiming point to that cross arm. I just need to click near it, and it's gonna automatically attach it to the mast. And then I can pick the point on the field where I want this to aim. I'm gonna turn off my snaps for now. On my first click, it's gonna say, hey, you've got symmetry enabled. Uh, symmetry enables you to put multiple masts in at once and all the aiming points will be uh, symmetrical. It's really good for um, sports field applications, baseball fields, football fields, that kind of thing. So I've got two axes of symmetry. So I'm going to hit OK. And we can see that now I have these extra masts in all the corners of the drawing. Now whenever I draw another aiming point, it's going to automatically add it to all four masts. I hit Enter to complete the command and then I hit calculate and we can see that my um, illumination has changed and my contour plot has changed to reflect the new aiming points.